Which of these cases is the absolute best case for Raspberry Pi 4? That's what we're gonna find out. This is our Raspberry Pi 4 case showdown. Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris and I am a huge fan of the Raspberry Pi, uh, especially the latest version, the Raspberry Pi 4. And I'm pretty addicted to buying accessories for this thing. So I really wanted to find out what is the best, you know, quote unquote, best case for Raspberry Pi 4. So in order to do that, it gave me a really good excuse to buy a whole bunch of different cases for the Raspberry Pi, as well as two brand new Raspberry Pis. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take a look at all of these today. Every single one of these cases is 4.5 star rating or higher on Amazon. And all of the links to all of these cases are down in the description below. Those are all Amazon affiliate links. If you click on any of those links, it doesn't change your price at all, but it does give us a couple bucks as a referral. And we appreciate any referrals that we get. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a look at every single one of these cases and we're gonna gauge them based on price, aesthetics, uh, ease of use or ease of building the Raspberry Pi into the case, and then also just sort of my own arbitrary opinion as to which one's best. And at the end of this video, we're gonna kind of do a bracket and filter this down to the absolute best case for Raspberry Pi. Mostly though, it's just gonna be my opinion. Let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with the cheapest case and work our way up to the most expensive. The cheapest case is $8.99. This is the Mazer Pi Raspberry Pi 4 case. There are two different types of cases for Raspberry Pi generally. There's sort of the clamshell case where the Raspberry Pi sits in and then there's just one solid enclosure. Usually it's just two pieces that sort of wraps around the Raspberry Pi. And then there's the acrylic stack and build type of cases where you've got a whole bunch of thin acrylic sheets that are sort of specifically shaped to go around the components of the Raspberry Pi and you sort of put them together like a vertical puzzle, if you will. So uh, I think we have two of the clamshell cases. The rest of them are the acrylic stack and build type cases. Uh, I don't really have a preference. I think there's a little bit more aesthetically. I like the stack and build cases a little bit better. Uh, but again, we'll see as we go through this process. The Mazer Pi case is about four and a half star rated on Amazon. Again, $8.99. Uh, this is a clamshell design case. And uh, it's sort of got these like rounded edges. That's kind of what I liked about it. Uh, it comes with a fan as well as uh, heat sinks for the Raspberry Pi 4. And typically when you're talking about heat sinks for the Raspberry Pi 4, you're talking about either three or four heat sinks, depending on which components they want you to put them on. Uh, this case in particular also comes with some rubber feet, which is always nice. But this is one of the easier ones to put together since it is just this clamshell design. All right, so let's go ahead and bring the camera in close and we are going to start by setting up the Mazer Pi Raspberry Pi 4 case. Here we go, this case is basically just three pieces of plastic. Then we have our fan and heat sinks. Okay, fan is in place and when you're doing a Raspberry Pi fan, in most cases, uh, unless you see otherwise, the label on the fan points towards the CPU that's being cooled. So basically it's gonna go like this. Now we wanna attach the cables. We are going to put the red fan cable into the five volt power, which is pin number two on the GPIO uh, pins here. And then we wanna put the black cable into a ground. So it's gonna be pins number two and pin number six on the GPIO. All right, there's the completed case. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Now, notice I did not use the heat sinks. I'm not actually gonna put heat sinks on these Raspberry Pis until I know uh, which case is gonna be their ultimate home, and I don't think it's gonna be this one. Uh, in building this, the screws were really cheap screws. They were just stripping, uh, just from me using a hand screwdriver on them, they were sort of stripping. So yeah, real cheap screws. Uh, but again, this is the cheapest of all of the Raspberry Pi 4 cases. Now, what I do like about this case is it was really, really easy to put together. You also have full access to the GPIO pins right here if you needed that. Uh, like I said, a big open slot for those. And everything else seems like it's pretty standard. So let's go ahead and fire it up. All right, so there you go. Fan is spinning. And that's a pretty standard Raspberry Pi case. Uh, it's not too pretty, 
but it certainly works and it's cheap. All right, we'll put this one aside for now, unplug it, and let's plug in this next case. Now this one I have already built because I've owned this case for quite a while. This is the Pibo Coupe 4 uh, in rainbow from PyMaroney.com. Now I love PyMaroney.com. They make some really good Raspberry Pi accessories. You can see that this case also has the Pimeroni fan shim uh, attached to it. This really, really helps with cooling, and if you're interested in some Raspberry Pi heat testing, check out my video on Raspberry Pi heat testing. I'll put a link to it down below. The thing I really like about this case, it, it doesn't, you don't have to get it in rainbow. Uh, I got it in rainbow because I thought my daughter would like it, <laughs> which she did. Uh, they also have this in just straight black, or it's called Ninja, and they also have it in red. This case is $9.10, uh, although it is not on Amazon, I believe. You have to buy this from Pimeroni Direct and it ships out of the UK. So if you're in the UK, you could probably get pretty cheap shipping on it, but here in the US, I think it was like five or six bucks to get it shipped over. So what I like about this case is it's pretty thin, right? So the components such as the USBs and the network actually stick up above the side of the case, uh, which is fine. And it gives you full access to the GPIO and some of the other board components. Uh, this does not work necessarily with heat sinks though. So keep in mind like some of the other components, if I didn't have this fan shim on here, you could have a heat sink on the CPU, but otherwise some of the other components where you're gonna put a heat sink are covered up uh, in this case, though there's a little bit of extra space in there. You just have to have a pretty low profile heat sink in order to use it. So there we go, that is the Pibo Coupe 4 from Pimeroni.com. Next up we have the Geek Pi acrylic case for Raspberry Pi 4. And this looks like a really nice case. It's $9.48, it's about four and a half star rated. Now this case also has a fan included and there are video instructions for this case on Amazon. Uh, but it comes stacked up already, so essentially what we need to do here is open this thing out of the plastic bubble wrap and then layer each piece and we're just gonna sort of take them off and then put them back together in reverse order with the Raspberry Pi installed. All right, we put the feet on the bottom and there is the finished Geek Pi acrylic case for Raspberry Pi 4. Again, $9.48. This one is okay. Uh, you see, I prefer the slimmer form factor of the Pi Bow case. Uh, notice that this one completely covers up the USB and network port, whereas this one sort of leaves the tops of those sitting out. I kind of like the sort of more slimline uh, case from the Pi from Pi Maroni. Let's power it up and make sure the fan spins. And there we go, spinning fan, everything looks good. One thing I do like about this case is that you have access to the GPIO pins either through the top of the case or through the side of the case here. There we go, Geek Pi acrylic case for Raspberry Pi 4. All right, next we have the Muse case for Raspberry Pi 4. This one has a cooling fan, four heat sinks. Uh, the price is $15.59, but that's because I purchased the kit that includes the a power adapter as well as a power switch, uh, which is part of the adapter right here. So you got a power adapter that has a power switch. I highly recommend these power switches if you're gonna be doing anything with Raspberry Pi. It just makes it a lot great, more graceful to turn it on and off rather than having to keep unplugging and plugging in the USB type C connector. So if you don't need the power connector with the switch, uh, you can get this same case for $9.99 instead of $15.59. All right, put that off to the side. Here's the case itself. Four heat sinks. These heat sinks are blue in this case. You get all your screws and fan right here. And once again, this is one of those acrylic stack and build type cases. It looks very similar to the last one, actually. Here you can see the previous one and then this one. They're very similar, except the acrylic's a little bit different on the first one. You got more black pieces in there than you do on this one. So yeah, very similar cases. I assume the build process will also be very similar. 
uh, let's go ahead and get started. So there we have it. There's the Muse case for Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, yeah, everything went fine on this one. It's very, very similar to the last case, uh, but uh, just looks a little bit different because it doesn't have so many black acrylic pieces as part of it. And uh, it's actually exactly the same size. So these cases are almost perfectly identical, but same thing, it has the exact same access to the GPIO pins and all of the components are just stuck out the side like so. Next up we have the Flirk case. This is $15.95. This comes in silver. There's also a Cody edition, uh, which has some Cody branding on it if you're gonna be using it for Cody. And this is definitely the nicest box uh, out of all of the Raspberry Pi 4 cases that we are reviewing. It even says right here, the most beautifully crafted Raspberry Pi 4 case. I guess we will see about that. So the Flirk is a clamshell design. It doesn't look like it comes with well, let's see, does it come with any heat sinks? No, so there's no heat sinks, but the Flirt case does have uh, this sort of heat sink right here, where it has an aluminum piece that goes all the way down and basically touches your CPU. So you can see that sort of molded into the case itself, and if we pop off the top, there you go, you can see that it uh, has a little divot there for that heat dissipation. So this is a clamshell design as opposed to the other ones that we've been looking at, that they're the, uh, the acrylic designs. Let's go ahead and uh, get this one put together. Oh, interesting, I see. So it actually has this little pad that comes with it. And the little pad is meant to go on your CPU. And then the divot portion of the aluminum case here goes down and touches that pad and sort of holds it in between uh, the CPU and the case itself. So that's how they're handling the heat dissipation in this Flirk case. I'm not gonna put the pad on for now since this is only temporary, but uh, basically Raspberry Pi goes here, case goes on top, and then you screw it in from the bottom. All right, so there we go. Now that was super, super easy installation. It was just those four screws. This case looks absolutely beautiful. Easiest install so far, clamshell design, and uh, yeah, I like the heat dissipation aspect of it. And this is a little bit on the pricier side at 16 bucks or 15.95, but man, that is a good looking case. All right, last case in the bunch is the Zebra. Oh, this is fancy. The C4 Labs Zebra Virtue fan case for Raspberry Pi 4. This is the wood ice variant. They have a bunch of different finishes that you can get for this thing, including black and wood and clear. And uh, yeah, they even have instructions, it looks like, for how to put the case together in here. That's nice. And this is, once again, one of those acrylic stack and build cases. This one is the most expensive case that we are reviewing here coming in at $24.99 plus $5.15 shipping. So this ended up being $30.14, which is almost the price of the Raspberry Pis that I purchased to test these cases with. Here we can see the wood grain. This is all nicely cut out acrylic material, and some of it is wood. Uh, this one has a pretty beefy fan. This is the beefiest fan that I've seen so far. All right, first thing they want us to do is pull all of the paper off of all the acrylics. So we're gonna start there and then get this thing assembled.
there we have the completed C4 Labs Zebra Virtue fan case. Uh, this case was the definitely the most complicated to put together. It looks really nice though. I like the look of this case. I like the fact that it has these countersunk uh, nuts on top instead of just regular nuts for both the fan and the actual case itself. And then on the bottom, it has these rubberized feet that you have to screw through. I didn't put these on first, so I had to then take all of these screws out and, and redo them. But uh, yeah, this is together now. I really like the wood grain. Of course, they do make it in different colors than just wood grain. I think the top is a little bit busy with this Raspberry Pi logo and all that, but overall, a really nice case. Uh, whether it's worth 25 bucks, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see when we put these cases up against each other. All right, so all that being said, let's put these things next to each other in no particular order. We'll kind of just lay these out. All right, so right off the bat, I know that the, the Mazer Pi, this little cheap one, this is not one that I would probably be interested in using. Uh, it is very cost effective, so if you just need a cheap case, this one will certainly do the job, but not for me. So we're gonna take that one out of the mix. Also, I'm gonna take away the most expensive one, right? So the C4 uh, Zebra C4 Lab Zebra Virtue case, it's just too expensive. 25 bucks plus shipping is a little much for this case. It was the most complicated case to put together. And while it feels very well built, and I like some of the screws and components, I don't think that makes up for the additional cost. Now, out of these two, they're basically almost exactly the same. Uh, the one that I would take away out of these two is the, the Geek Pie acrylic case. And really it comes down to just two totally minor things. Uh, one is that on the Muse case, I like this design on the bottom a little bit better than the bottom of this case. Plus the Muse case has a little bit bigger uh, rubber feet. So I'm gonna take away the Geek Pie acrylic case. That one is out of the running here. So that leaves these three. Now, boy, this is getting tough. Okay, so. I do really like the Flirk case. The problem that I have with it is access to the GPIO pins, right? So let, let's start here. So between the Pi Moroni case and the Muse case, I think I would go with the Pi Moroni because I much prefer the more slender sort of slimline Pi Moroni case. I don't like that the entire component is, uh, that all of the stuff is covered up here. I kind of like this one that sort of fits around the components a lot better. So we're gonna get rid of the Mayuzi case and that leaves the Flirk and the Pi Moroni. And boy, this is just a toss up. I mean, and again, this is mostly just my opinion, uh, but I think out of these two, I'm gonna have to give it to the Pi Moroni case. And the reason being is number one, it's cheaper, so the FLIR case is $15.95, the Pi Moroni case is $9.10. The Pi Moroni case gives you access to the GPIO pins. It allows you to have a little bit more customization in terms of what type of heat sink you wanna use. Now the FLIR, remember, has the heat sink built in, but I think access to the GPIO pins, uh, I just like the look of it a little bit better with the different colors, and of course you can get it in just red or you can get it in the Ninja, uh, sort of gray black color as well. Uh, this case, the Flirt case, however, is, it definitely has its uses. If you're just gonna use a Raspberry Pi as like a pie hole or something where you're not gonna be touching the GPIO pins, then I would probably go with the Flirt case. But otherwise, I'm gonna stick with this Pi Moroni Pi Bow case. I think this is the, I think this is the overall winner with the Flirt case being a, a very close runner up with the asterisk or the sort of note that like, if you're not gonna use the GPIO pins and you know you're not gonna use the GPIO pins, I would probably go for the Flirk case above the Pi Moroni case, but uh, there you have it. All right, so there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth look at a number of the top rated Raspberry Pi 4 cases on Amazon and on the web, and again, Basically, it comes down to your own personal preference. My personal preference is this Pi Moroni or the Flirt case, depending on what I'm actually gonna be doing with the Pi. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name's Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.